everyone, I'm Steph and behind the camera is Chris and we're hungry to travel. Today in chilly Tbilisi, Georgia, we're going to be trying out some staples of Georgian cuisine, one of which is even considered the national dish of Georgia, ketchupuri. Now this cheesy carby dream, <laughs> just you wait and see, is such a staple of Georgian cuisine that Georgian economists have even created the ketchupuri index where they use the cost of it and the cost of the ingredients used to make it to gauge inflation and the strength of the economy. It's such a national dish that even have National Ketchupuri Day on February 27th, so we're really looking forward to trying this. We're also going to be trying Lobio, which is somewhere between refried beans and a bean soup, and it looks super hearty and we think it's going to be perfect for a chilly day in December like today. So let's go try them out! So we're here at Chashnagiri to try Kachapuri and Lobio. So there's so many different types of Kachapuri and they all vary in different sizes and shapes and ingredients that's in them. So we're excited to try and see which ones they have in there. And we're also going to be trying Lobio, which is kind of like a hot bean stew, but it's cooked and served in like a clay pot and it has a bread hat for a lid that goes on top. So let's go. We just ordered everything and we decided to go with the Ajarian Kachapuri, which is the really cool one that looks like a boat. So looking forward to that. We also got the Lobio, which this one doesn't seem to come with the bread hat. So we got the traditional cornbread that you're supposed to eat with it on the side. And then we also ordered Lobiani, which is like a bean filled pastry and it's also quite a popular bean dish. So we wanted to get that to kind of complement our bean stew. So we're looking forward to trying them all out. So of course, being here in Georgia, we had to order some Georgian wines. So we got a half liter of the house bread that came in this awesome jug. Smells delicious. So have some wine with our meal again. As I think we're going to be doing with mostly slash almost every one of our meals. So our Lobio bean stew just came with our Mathadi cornbread. So I can already feel the heat coming from the clay pot here. It comes in this cool little clay pot. <coughs> Let's open up its lid. So there's no bread bowl on the top, sadly, but... Oh yeah. Mmm. Smells good. It smells kind of like a beef stew. Ooh. Smells really good. So, yeah, no... No bread, uh, no bread hat lid, but... You can do that, I guess. So you're supposed to eat the cornbread with it, but I will try this delicious bean stew. So I think this is made with kidney beans. The Lobio is made with kidney beans. So mm, really hot. Let's have a taste. I'm not going to burn my mouth this time. Mm. It's really hearty and it tastes like mashed up kidney beans. So literally like a bean stew. It's hot. It's got a lot of flavor, got a lot of spice. There's like, I think this is like an onion flake in there with the parsley. Looks like there's pepper and paprika in there. I can taste. Mm. That's really good. It tastes almost like a chili with the beans. Okay, so I'm gonna try it with the Mathadi cornbread. I'm gonna take a part of that. Mm. Oh, really, really thick cornbread. Mmm. Pretty good bread. It's got a lot of, it's very dense, so. 
not very salt. There's not a lot of salt in that bread, but I think you're supposed to just, I don't know, dip it in or... Mmm, it's good with the bread. It's a really hearty meal. With the cornbread, it goes really well. With the beanie stew, that's good. I'm gonna try some of this bean stew, which is piping hot in this clay pot, which is awesome. So I'll try not to burn my mouth as well. Mmm. Oh man. That honestly just tastes like refried beans. Well, not just like it, but very similar in texture. Oh. <laughs> very similar in texture to refried beans. And I think that's actually cilantro instead of parsley. I love cilantro, so that tastes so good with the beans. Super hearty, perfect for a cold day like today. This is gonna warm us up from the inside out for sure. Amazing. So our lobiani and our ketchup curry has arrived. First off, this lobiani is massive and not at all how big we were expecting it to be. It is huge, absolutely huge. This kachapari looks so delicious. You can see and honestly, you can smell the cheese, the butter, it is so rich. It looks unbelievable. Now, when the waiter brought it over, he said, you've gotta make sure to mix everything in together first and then you can start dipping everything in. So I'm just gonna grab my knife here and, oh wow, look at that. Mush this butter around, and I guess just literally. Oh wow, look at that egg yolk! Oh my goodness, let's just have at her. He said the rest of it you just gotta eat with your hands because that's the best way to experience it and do it. So let's just get messy. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh my goodness, that's so good. Cheese is really nice and salty. I think it's like a mixture of kind of like a, a cottage cheese with the Sulguni cheese that we've had before. So it's really stringy, it's nice and salty with the butter, really good. The egg makes it super creamy as well with that yolk, makes it so rich. Oh my gosh, this is <laughs> unbelievable. Literally, if you are a cheese lover like us, a carb lover, a butter lover, this is pretty much paradise. Holy moly, this Lobiani is huge. And this plate, I don't know if it's just the plate or if it's the actual food, but it's massive and it feels really, really heavy. So definitely bigger than what we thought. We thought it was gonna be like maybe this big, but this is huge. I mean, each slice, I'm just gonna take one here and try it. So, it's almost like a flat bread with refried beans on the inside, you can see there. So it's like a pizza slice with beans inside it. So, let's try it. Mmm, it's pretty thin, as you can see. The flatbread's pretty thin. And you got a pretty decent amount of the kidney bean mush on the inside. It's really nice. There's a, some good amount of spice in there. Kind of has like a mashed up onion taste as well. Like, so there's definitely, I can taste onion mashed up in the refried bean paste. Mmm, that's really good. It's like a flatbread meets a pizza with beans on the inside. Mm. That's tasty. So we mentioned that we got the Ajarian ketchup curry because it's the most recognizable one and it just looked so good with the butter, the egg, the cheese, the boat shape and everything. But it's actually not the most popular one. The most popular one is actually a little bit more cleaner. It's more of a big circular circle, I believe, and it's covered with possibly just the Sulcuni cheese. I'm not 100% sure, but that is the most common one that you would find on just your um, like regular Georgian's dinner table and I think what more the sort of like national dish revolves around so yeah so that's the more common one but we just had to go for this one because I mean 
how can you say no to cheese, a fresh cracked egg, and butter smothered all over that? You just, you just, you just can't. Yeah. So everything here that we got, it's a pretty good meal. We have our proteins with the bean stew and the beans and the flatbread. We got our carb overload with the ketchup curry and flatbread as well. And we got our fruits in as well. It's a pretty well-balanced meal we got here. It's pretty good. Oh my gosh, that was so delicious. What an amazing meal. The lobio was so hearty and delicious. So flavorful as well. It was unbelievable. The lobiani was really good to go with it as well, but absolutely massive. Not needed, but good to try. The ketchup curry that we had was also so rich, so flavorful. There was so much cheese and the butter on it was delicious. Like we mentioned, there's a lot of different kinds, so we're looking forward to trying out some other ones as well. But overall, this meal was so delicious. So price-wise, the cachapuri was 13 Georgian lari, the lobiani uh, bean pie was 9 lari, and the lobio bean stew with the bread was also 9 lari. So all together with the half liter of red wine, it cost 38 and a half Georgian Lari, which is about $16 Canadian or 12 and a half USD. If you enjoyed this carby and bean filled video, please give us a thumbs up and hit the like button below. Comment on the video. We always love to hear from everyone. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel to keep caught up on all of our food videos and adventures. We're hungry to travel. We'll see you next meal.